Hey guys, I'm Dr. Kate from Bono Vet, and today has been a super chilly day in Sydney. It is, winter is definitely upon us. So I have spent a lot of today snuggled up on the couch, just doing some reading. And you know what I read about in my spare time is pets. There's a few things that I wanted to share with you. In fact, just one, but it's an important one. And it's one that I get asked a lot about as a vet. Should I or shouldn't I feed undercooked or raw chicken products to my dogs? In particular, what we're talking about here is raw chicken necks and chicken wings. Chicken necks and chicken wings were long recommended as a way of preventing dental disease, in, particularly in smaller dogs, for a really long time. Until recently, earlier in 2018, some research actually emerged that linked undercooked chicken products, in particular chicken necks and chicken wings, with a condition, potentially fatal condition, that causes paralysis in dogs. Research that was done at the University of Melbourne found that there was a clear link between feeding undercooked chicken products and developing this shitty condition called polyradiculoneuritis that causes paralysis in dogs. Polyradiculoneuritis is also called APN. And clinically, APN looks a lot like a paralysis stick in that dogs will develop paralysis of the hind legs first. It then ascends to essentially cause paralysis in the front legs, the head, the neck, and the face. The good news is about APN is that a lot of the time dogs will recover, but unfortunately it does take about six months. So I'm not really sure that that's actually a good thing about APN, but at least most of them don't die. So what is it about chicken that can actually cause your dog to develop polyradiculoneuritis? So a little known bacteria called the Campylobacter bacteria that lives on undercooked chicken products. Research showed a link between Campylobacter bacteria and the development of APN. And in fact, the Campylobacter bacteria is now considered the triggering agent in up to 40% of APN cases in Australia. Pretty scary, huh? So, what do I personally recommend these days when clients ask me if I should feed raw chicken necks and chicken wings? The answers remain so unclear, but as a vet, I'm pretty hesitant now about recommending feeding raw chicken products, chicken necks and chicken wings, especially to dog owners. My best advice is to steer clear of any undercooked chicken products, chicken necks and chicken wings, anything undercooked, until we know more about this condition. That is it from me, signing off, Dr. Kate.